It was holiday time on the island of Sodor. All the engines were working happily, except for James. Why should a splendid engine like me take messy coal cars instead of coaches? Percy or Oliver should do it. I'm too important. Thomas was cross. James, why don't you think about something or someone else for a change? You'll be surprised at how much better you'll feel if you do. Oh, please. Being important is the only thing for me to think about. Huh. That plane's making a great deal of noise, said Percy to Oliver. His name's Tigermoth, replied Oliver, and it's flying around telling everyone about the fair that's arriving today. What are you two doing here? Sir Topham Hatt wants us to pick up a very special load from the harbor. And I think it's got something to do with the fair. Then they puffed away. Meanwhile, James was collecting quarry cars from the yards. Dustier and dustier, he grumbled. Then he saw Mrs. Kindly. She looks miserable. What's the matter, asked James' driver. My sister has rung to tell me she can't come to stay with me. I was so looking forward to her visit. Sir Topham Hatt soon heard the sad news. We must cheer her up. Send Harold the helicopter to pick her up immediately. A few minutes later, there was a surprise for Mrs. Kindly. Old President Correct called Harold. I'm uh, here on a flying visit. Hurry aboard, Mrs. Kindly, and uh, fly the sky with me. Compliments of uh, Sir Topham Hatt. Oh, how lovely. Harold's made my paint dustier than ever, muttered James. But he was happy for Mrs. Kindly. She was soon flying high with Harold. I've never seen the island like this before. It's wonderful. Meanwhile, Percy and Oliver were at the docks. Cranky the Crane was unloading an old tramp steamer. Hey down there, you two. I'm playing Lucky Dip in the Tramper's Hold and all these are for you. Wooden horses, Percy exclaimed, for the carousel ride. It's going to be a very exciting fair. It is indeed, whistled James. Sir Topham had his ordered me to stop pulling coal cars and go to the station instead. Something to do with Mrs. Kindly. Goodbye. Well, what do you think of that? cried Percy. Mrs. Kindly was waiting for James with Sir Topham Hatt. Now this is your very special treat. James will take you on a mystery ride, and I shall meet you at your destination. James took Mrs. Kindly along her favorite coastal route to Tidmouth Bay. When he arrived there, a big surprise awaited Mrs. Kindly. Oh, she cried, you've brought me to the fairground, how lovely. Best of all, Sir Topham Hatt invited her to make the announcement. I declare this fairground open. Mrs. Kindly had the first ride on the carousel. You were quite right, Thomas, James whispered. Making someone happy does cheer you up. Then together they watched the fun of the fair.